in the Greek and anti-Semitism. Wow. Now, the introduction is we must understand one thing because we did not understand what we heard today, yesterday. And what we learned today, not everybody understands until they hear what we presented. Then you get the knowledge. So before we did not know, and by the grace of God, we do know the truth today. So when you approach the person that you want to attack, Sir, ma'am, I would like you to please review the following information. Maybe you can see what I saw. Never give them a hard, bitter, bitter pill. For I know that this was not a hard, bitter, bitter pill to yourself. They may or may not see it this way. You must continue to pray for them. So, they have learned what they have learned from others that have learned. From men and of their own pastorship. They've learned from other pastors. It all came by scholars who did not know the facts but hid or hid the facts that we're about to study throughout this whole lesson. The man or the men you have in mind may have never knew what you just learned. They will be insulted a bit. But what you're doing is you're stepping on their toes. Because a man, because men that carried and taught them the ministry, you are attacking, and that many men are in ignorance. They don't know. They did not know, or maybe they do. And the only guilty one are ones that the ones that did not speak the truth, or allow this to be taught to one group, the next group, and the next group, and on. See, what we're doing is we're starting something here. We have the truth. Many do not know what we're going to be studying. And we can't go jam it down your throat. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know that. No, take, listen. Take notes. Go further than what I've done. Use these videos. And go out and help others. So. And it may be little bites here, little bites there. All right. In the Greek. That's where we're going to start this whole Bible study. In the Greek. I don't know if you ever heard, you know, up at the pulpit. Oh, in the Greek. Never the Greek text, but always a Greek text. Never the Greek text. But a Greek text. So when that man in the Greek, he never says in a Greek. There is no such thing as in the Greek. The expression used in the Greek is a typical term of no real importance. But an expression that was taught to imprison others. I know Greek. I knew Greek too. I went to school with a Greek girl whose family owned a pizzeria. Which Greek? The Greek. No, I said which Greek? The Greek. And if they go to the original... Nobody has, nor will they ever have the original. So, again, the man that you know that uses this term of in the Greek, he may not, he was taught in seminary. And he picked it up to, you know, you can impress others. Or the original. Well, okay, give me a copy of the original. Write down the address and how much it will cost and you can't get them. They're trying to impress you. Well, you know, the Greek New Testament. 
nestles. And then he's going to be surprised that, oh, you know something? <laughs> nestles, all uh, Melvin, Texium, Greasy, and some of these words I'm not going to be able to pronounce. Nestles. As of 2012, there are 28 editions of Nestle. Which one? You said in the Greek. Well, the Greek Testament. Well, 28 editions of Nestle. And none of them agree with each other. So, in the Greek. Well, even the New Testament Greek, they don't agree so why are you throwing that out to the people well look up they may say and this is the subject of their first study kettle k-i-t-t-l-e greek dictionary that's our subject kettle's greek dictionary and if he were to say well the kettle greek dictionary we are now on sinking sand Or it's called Dictionary of the Greek New Testament. Leo Akis, Wartbuck, Dumb, New Testament. If you know German, I don't. The Theology Dictionary of the New Testament. Gerhard, G-E-R-H-A-R-D, Kettle. His last volume of ten volumes of, the, of his dictionary. Let me tell you, the 10th vial was never finished. I'm going to give you the dessert before we get to the meal. I feel a sneeze coming, so forgive me. His last volume was never finished because he was in trial for war crimes for being a Nazi. And that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at Mr. Kettle, his Greek dictionary, and a Nazi, anti-Semitism. And if you read... Genesis chapter 12, where God said to Abraham, the father of the Jews, Isaac and Jacob, I will curse them that curse you. If you're going to say in the Greek, if you are using Kettle's Greek dictionary, you have invited an anti-Semitic anti man into your church and into your teachings that hate Jews, where God said, I will curse them that curse you, talking to the Abraham race. I am 100% against the information I'm going to read, but the pure fact is I pray for the Jews. I support missionary goes over the Jews. I, they're God's people above all people. I don't even tell a Jewish joke. So Gerhard Kettle, the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, 10 volume set, not completed because of war crimes. The chosen reference was used by the NIV, the New International Version. If you have a NIV, the committee that came up with the NIV is, is or had used Kittle's Greek Dictionary, a man of the Nazi party. I'd get rid of my NIV right now and I would take and get a King James Bible and not ever pick up a new, new NIV again. When an exact word or meaning was sought by the NIV translators, Kittle's Greek Dictionary was... All right, let's see what Kittle has to say. Now, the man that you think that says in the Greek, he may use Nestle's. He may use Kittle's. He may not use any of this. This may be expression. Be careful. But if he's going to say and he uses kettle, as with most modern translations of the Bible, kettle is a family name of New, New Testament Greek scholars. They know. If you go back to the Greek scholars, the Greek scholars, the family line of scholars that demand that you know or even you yourself in the Greek. In that line of scholars, they know about Kettle. They're just not going to tell you. So when an instructor, a pastor, an educator uses expression in the Greek, most certain, but not exactly, 
The reference is backed by Kettle's Theology Dictionary of the New Testament, a 10-volume set. Or the abridged Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, abridged in one volume. Editor's Mark. It is the standard that is set as necessary for the Greek student to best ever complete. So the editor says about this man who's a Nazi against Jews, his 10 volume set or the abridged one volume set is good for the student. Are you kidding me? Anti-Semitism, duh. This is why the KKK is not correct amongst many things. But one of the things the KKK is against and can't say they're Christian is they're anti-Semitic. So was the Nazi party. So was a man that was in the Nazi party. Man, as soon as you hear anti-Semitic, that's it. You got to pack your spiritual bags and say, Lord God, I repent and I am sorry. Oh, Lord, I now know I repent. You don't continue. And I said that scholars have recognized Kittle's name as a family household name of the... I'm going to make a bold statement here. I believe anybody who revises the King James Bible, I believe they're not saved. But that's another statement. That's my own personal statement. All right, the Nazi Kittle. He was... A great supporter of the Nazis with an open, open anti-Semitism. Professor of Evangelical Theology and New Testament at the University of Tumbling, I'm not German, T-U-B-I-N-G-E-N, -E published study depicting Jewish people as a historic enemy of Germany, Christianity, European culture in general. Hit him. But the author of the Theology Dictionary, the New Testament, 10 volumes, opposes the Jews, the people of God, for Germany, for Christianity, and for the European culture. Go back and read Genesis chapter 12. Kiddo, for instance, commonly referred to Germany Jews as refuse a poison and corruption eating at the morrow of bulk B O L K. therefore we're inquiring as to the relationship between politics and scholarly work daily bailey 2012 and i got all the references kettle wrote a great deal to help establish scientific base to justify the mistreatment of Jews. However, Hitler needed theological jurisdiction as well as scientific Hitler, Adolf Hitler. Kittel was a man for the job. Kittel had been credited for making extermination of the Jews a theological respectable. I mean, the, the form of religion Kettle has brought the out of Hitler and it's now respectful to get rid of the Jews. Establishing a solid Christian foundation for the opposition of Jews, Erickson. He was put on trial for war crimes at Nuremberg. Now, again, the man that you know in the Greek he may not know in the Greek. He just might, you know, it's just an expression. Oh, okay, N N Nettle. Uh, okay, you do know that. Well, okay, Kettle. Now we're getting dangerous ground. And don't go be firing fire out of your dragon mouth because the dragon is the devil. Say, sir, respectable, uh, this guy, he's done a study about in the Greek. Can you please listen to it? Or I wrote down the notes. Or I've done my own research. In his defense, Kittle claimed to be a good Nazi. 
having joined the party only one month before delivering Die Judge Defunction. J U D E N F R A G E. Political party. German Nazi party. Kittel affirmed himself with the German Christian whose motto was the swastika, the swastika on our breast and a cross in our heart. If you're going to have the swastika on your breast and the cross in your heart, you're not a Christian. You're an antichrist. Because even the Apostle Paul, right into Christian, said, We're to pray for Jerusalem, we're to pray for the Jew. They're our enemy of the gospel, but they're still God's people. Don't you dare, don't you dare call yourself a Christian and hate Jew. KKK and the Nazi Party. And your New Testament dictionary of Kittle. The German, they say Christians, I don't even want to say it denounced Jews' influence on Christianity and called for the removal of the Old Testament from the Bible. This group that Kittle was involved in, we hate the Jews so much, we don't even want the Old Testament. Why not? Because the Old Testament said, I will curse them that curse you and I will bless, you, bless them that bless you. Since we're cursing you, we got to take that out of the Bible. And we have a Greek New Testament used by the modern Bibles, the NIV, exactly to do that. Take out of the Bible what we don't like and what we don't want. In 1933, Kittle joined the Nazi party. Erickson, theologian in the Third Reich, the case of Ger Gerhard Kettle, 1977. These are not my words. These I'm picking the brains of people who know what they're talking about. 1933 is an interesting year. The same year that he joined the Nazi party, Kittle, his scientific writing and theological writing together. In the 1933, the same year he joined the Nazi party, he began working on the major pro project, Theological Greek New Testament Dictionary, which scholars love. So when he joined the, the Nazi party, he's also right in his Greek New Testament dictionary, sir. And if you're going to use Kittle's New Testament dictionary, it is in the life, in the beginning, and the end of a man who was involved with a group of people that hated Jews and the Hebrew and Jewish people of the Bible are throughout from, from Genesis to Revelation. And the author of your Greek New Testament, Kittle, is a man and a group of people who hated Jews and wanted them to be gone by death. A New Testament theology was to be made compatible to Nazi philosophy. The theological dictionary written by Nazis would be very helpful. Other anti-Jewish theologians helped him on the project. This is the Greek New Testament Dictionary. He wrote 39 articles in the first four volumes in, of the dictionary with help of other theologians. Hitler's dictionary evidently grew into a monumental 10-volume set. 10th volume was not put out by Kittel because he became a war criminal. After the war, Kittle went for trials for his war crimes. He was convicted and in prison for his role as he played as Hitler's scientist and theologian. He worked right along with Adolf Hitler in the Greek New Testament dictionary that you may be using in the Greek of the original. Now, the man that you're listening to and the man that you have on your heart and your mind right now may not have this information. I have been saved since 1987, 33 years in the Lord, and I have just finally came to this information. And this information has been sitting on my, my bookshelf for years. 
And finally, one day, the Lord opened up my ears and start hearing and say, I want you to sit down. I want you to write. His writings and speeches had, had come to the extermination of millions of innocent people. So Kittel went off to jail. So the 10 volume theological dictionary Kittel produced, the Christian Books Distributor, CBD, Christian Book Distributor, CBD, in their catalog, this 10 volume theological dictionary in the New Testament, TDNT, is according to the CBD catalog, the standard for NT, New Testament, theology dis dictionary. Unnecessary for the serious great Greek student. What? Christian book distributors says it is necessary. It is for the serious Greek student that we bring to you a Nazi Greek New Testament dictionary. Well, Christian book distributors, you lost my business. Don't send me any more of your catalog. Uh, it was published by Erman, E-E-R-D-M-A-N-S, a major Christian publisher in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So Christian book distributors, don't send me in your garbage anymore. Don't send me your Nazi problem again. The, the Greek student seriously needs this. This work by the Nazi was, convict, it was convicted and imprisoned by war crimes. Kiddo. Widely used and trusted by modern Bible translators, theologians, and students in Christian seminaries. And as the CBD, the Christian Book Distributors, the standard of NT Theology Dictionary. Another writer would write, has almost parallel status among biblical scholars. If you're so smart about the Bible, why don't you know about Genesis 12? I will curse them that curse you. Come on, are we serious? An anti-Semitic Nazi is telling us about the Bible of a group of people called Hebrews, which an Old Testament, I mean, a New Testament book is called Hebrews, of Israelites, of Jewish, of Israel, of the children of Abraham, who are of God, and God loves them and says, those are my people. And your biblical scholars are going to back a Nazi who is against the Jew. Are you crazy? The Lagos Bible Software website called this one of the most widely used and well-respected theology dictionaries ever created. You got to teach these people Genesis chapter 12. Do you know what evidently happened to the Nazi party in Germany? Do you actually know what happened to Adolf Hitler and his cursing the Jews? Do you know? And yet scholars have revised the work of Kittle and it's most admired. It's most for the Greek student and preachers and teachers and, and, and educators will get up in their podium in their pulpits and say in the Greek and there is no Greek the Greek absolutely none Before 1933, Kittle defended Judaism. Prior to 1933, Mr. Kittle published works in which he praised the Jewish people in the Talmud and 
emphasized the Jewish roots of Christianity, Bakhtin, 1977. After 1933, Kittle attacked Judaism. 1933 to 1944, the works hatred and slander to the Jews. Harsh and anti-Jewish stance. Worse of the Nazi propaganda of Kittle's own works. Then he began working again, 1933, the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, the 10-volume set, which is the source of the NIV board. In 1933, he wrote Die Jefung, J-U-D-E-N-F-R-A-G-E, -E, The Jewish Question. In the first edition, we must not allow ourselves to be crippled because the whole world screams at us of the barbarism and re excuse me, reversions to the past. That was Kittle, quote, unquote. How the German regulates his own culture affairs is not a concern to anyone else in the world. Kittle says in 1933 what the Jewish people are doing, I mean, what the German people are doing to, to the Jewish people, killing them and, and torturing them. It is no concern of England. It's a no concern of America. It's a no concern of Europe. Leave your nose out of our German business about us Mill ill treating the Jewish people. That's what Kittle said in 1933. In a lecture, June 1933, of the same, the Jewish question, that soon appeared in print, he spoke of strip, stripping the citizenship of German Jews, their removal from medicine, law, teaching, journalism, and forbid marriage or sexual relations with non-Jews. This partition of two years of the Nazi government and introduced the Nuremberg radical or racial laws and took away Jewish rights of German citizenship, 1935, Erickson, complicity of the Holocaust, churches of the universities in Nazi Germany in 2012. The man that gave you the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, 10 volume set, which scholars love in seminaries and in the Greek, helped produce laws and helped produce racial laws against the Jews in Germany, where they could not have jobs, they could not have relationship, they could not have any study. I'd be very careful when somebody says in the Greek, I, I would start to be investigating what Greek he's using. Hopefully it's just an expression. Well, that's, you know, that's an expression I learned. Hopefully, maybe he uses nestles. And when he said with nestles, there were... Uh, were there. 28 editions and they all didn't agree with each other. If he turns to Kittle and you explain to him the works of Kittle and he still foundations himself on Kittle's work, out of there. Anti-Semitism. Kettle, writing ability to produce propaganda of the Nazi cause. He became the leader of, never, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, the Research Department of Jewish Questions, a Nazi organization which published a journal, Keto, for the purpose of organization of his journal was to establish scientific base which would justify Nazi murders against Jews. Keto was most frequent contributor to this journal, which he described Jews as depraved, refuge, enemies of humanity. Theology Dictionary of the New Testament, 10 volume set, which is highly praised among the scholars, and maybe one third of the work of a man that says in the Greek, 
Again, one part, he uses the expression, because, I, you know, everybody uses the expression, look how good I am. Or number two, nestles. Which, or number three, on danger ground, if he were to say Kettle's New Testament Dictionary. Because the Theological Dictionary of Kettle's New Testament 10 volume set is the source and the work of him being a Nazi against God's people, the Hebrews, the Jews, and wanted them gone and wanted them eliminated. You're not on good ground. 1933, 1934, the leadership of the extermination of the Jews worked for the Nazi propaganda and organization of anti-Semitic propaganda, which was distributed to the Nazis and distributed to the people of Germany so they would hate the Hebrews. Kittle was a frequent writer of six to eight volumes, ten for the reference of Kittle. He wrote against the Jews after 1933. God said, I will curse them that curse you. In 1939, Kittle gave a speech calling Hitler, Adolf Hitler, quote, the saving force which stemmed the tide of Jewish infiltration, end of quote, and he said that about Adolf Hitler. This is not hate speech. This is documented, give you the quote, that you can go and read yourself also about a man that hates the Jewish people and is going to give us the work of the New Testament. You know what one of them books in the New Testament is called? It's called Hebrews. Do you know what Matthew was written to? It was written to the Jews. You know what Luke wrote to? He wrote about a man named Jesus, a Jew. John said he came unto his people and his people received him not the Jews. Like other German Christians, though you're not a Christian, you're as much Christian as the KKK. And I said again, and I'll say it again, I say it and I'll say it again. If you're anti Semitic, you hate Jews, you hate the children of Israel, you are no way beyond the definition to be called a Christian. You cannot be a Christian and hate Jews. That's anti Bible. Kittle believed that God had elevated Hitler to power in order to save Germany from culture-destroying Jews. That was the man that gave you the Greek New Testament dictionary, 10 volumes. He viewed the Nazi movement as religious renewal, so he openly supported Hitler, Eccleston. A man who wrote books and studied. 1943, he was asked to write for anti-Semitism, anti-Jewish action magazine or publication, which promoted German victory in a global war. Do you like the Jews? Do you love them? You're supposed to. They're God's people. How is your taste for the Nazi party and the Nazi regime and Adolf Hitler? Sour? Bitter? But are you using the work of the New Testament theology work of a man who was a Nazi and who hated the Jews? <clears throat> Excuse me. On May 3rd, 1945, Adolf Hitler's Third Reich Captured to the Allies, Kittle was arrested by the French occupying forces. Eckerson, Theology of the Third Reich, the case of Gerhard Kittle, 1977. In his own defense, Kittle maintained his work was scientific and method. I thought it was God. I thought God elevated Hitler. <laughs> they caught me. It was, it, was, it was a bunch of scientists. It was a bunch of work of science. <laughs> In 
and by the motivated by Christianity, although it may have appeared anti-Semitic to some, Eccleston writes Theology and Third Reich, a case for Gerhard Kittle, 1977. Well, you know, when you look at my work, Kittle's saying, you may see it as anti-Semitic, but really, it wasn't. He's putting this gap, oh, I shouldn't say, oh, wrong word, I am totally sorry. He is putting this, oh, what do you call it? Uh, it, it it's today, it, people say, you know, the Holocaust never happened. There are people today that say the Jewish people were never killed. It was all a bunch of lies. That is what Kittle is saying. In his defense at his trial, well, you think it was anti-Semitic. Yes, it was. And even the scholars ignore it. Kiddo characterized his work as an attempt to grapple with the problem of Jewry and the Jewish question. What, eliminating them? Removing their rights from them? Turning the whole Nazi party and the German people against them? Kiddo admitted to acknowledge of the Jewish murders. William F. Albright wrote that, quote, in view of the terrible vicious of his attacks on Judaism and the Jews, which continue at least until 1943, Gerhard Kittel must bear the guilt of having contributed more perhaps than any other Christian theologian to the mass murders of Jews by Nazis, Albright, 1947. Oh, it could be anti-Semitic. And he knew the Jews were being killed. After 1943, when he admits to knowing about Jews being murdered in Russia, published, for instance, in Goebbels' anti juristic Ekron. Goebbels, he, you know, he was the, the promoter of the Nazi party. It was Kittle who wrote the anti-Semitic anti li literature distributed to the Nazi party. He wanted to indoctrinate the German people to hate Jews. Oh, you could see my work maybe as anti-Semitic. And I can see a can of dog food on the counter. It, it could be dog food, even though it says D-O-G-F-O-O-D. It could be dog food. So it's possible when a man says in the Greek, is using the words of the theological dictionary of the New Testament, 10 volumes said. And if that person is using the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, a 10-volume set, which the Christian book distributors say is a wonderful break necessary for, for Greek students, and it is in the family of the scholars, the author of the 10-volume set, which he couldn't finish the 10 volume volume because he was put into jail for war crime, but if your source or their source is the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, 10 volume set. It is the offer that helped Adolf Hitler to try to overcome the Jews in Germany. It was the mere motive was to wipe off every Jew from the face of the earth. And that man that quotes in the Greek may be using the information from the man and a party that was against God's people. Now, if you got an NIV Bible and you happen to have Theological Dictionary of the New Testament 10 volume set, I'd love to see you have it get burned. Out about Hitler, Kittle said to obey Hitler is to obey the law of God. 
Kittle would produce a Bible for out of Hitler's new church. It was to replace Martin Luther's Bible, which Martin Luther used the majority text, which would come to be King James. It would be the authorized version of Hitler. Martin Luther was the authorized version of the German people. It was about 400 years old when Hitler's generation. And about Martin Luther's Bible, Kittle said it was archaic and needed to be replaced. Don't those words sound familiar? 400 years old? Two thousand eleven the King James Bible came to be four hundred years old. Kittle wrote articles for Walter Frank's National Institute of History of the New Germany, which was meant to highlight German scholarship and constructed by order of Hitler himself. Then any other contributor, including Frank himself, and was one of the Institute's 15 original, original, hey, there's original, members. Kittle praised the Institute for the service as a weapon in the fight against Jewry. And when he was arrested, he said, well, you know, maybe my work seems to be anti-Semitic. <clears throat> In 1936, opening of a special section of the Institute, dedicated especially to the Jewish question, was attended by Rudolf Hess and heralded by the Volkswagen Bobekia, the Nazi Party's newspaper. I'm going to give you some of the information I got this information from. William Albright, 1947. D. Bochton. 1977. Daly Bailey K. 2012. R. P. Erickson. 1977. R. P. Erickson. 1985. R. P. Erickson. 2012. W. Weinrich. 1999. And Wikipedia. Now let me give you a warning about Wikipedia. Wikipedia leans to the wrong side. Of all the articles I read, we're going to we have just begun our, my study into the Bible, and we're going to look at the do's and the don'ts. And when something was against God and the Bible, the truth. What I read personally in Wikipedia went the other way, and when something was not right, not the truth, against God and his Bible. Wikipedia would turn to making it look good. So what was good, Wikipedia was calling bad. And what was bad, Wikipedia was calling it good. And we're doing a study on Thursdays about evil and good. Well, that's the first one. The Greek and anti-Semitism. Now listen... We're going to get into the Bible and how and where we got it and the perverted Bibles and scholars. 116 pages. Lord willing, we're going to, we'll get that. We've already started the study of the Bible. Now, you may know somebody who, in the Greek, the originals, nestles, or Kittle. And before you pull out your gun and start shooting, take for thought. They may not know the information I gave you that you did not know, that I did not know. Okay? And politely, correctly say, sir, ma'am, I have a video, I have an audio or notes. I like you to listen or read them. And then let them make their own judgment. They may not go for it. They may say, you know, that guy is a bunch of garbage. I don't care what he said. It's all propaganda himself. 
but you got to try. So in the Greek, in, not in a Greek, but in the Greek. Let's go. Let's review this before we close. There's no such thing as the Greek. It may be an expression that someone uses to impress others. Which Greek? Well, the Greek. Which one? The original. Nobody has the originals. Nestles. Nestles, okay. Nestles has 28 editions as of 2012, and they all don't agree with each other. Well, Kittles. Greek dictionary. And then there we go. You say, Stiley, what do you do when you don't know a word? I go to the authorized King James Bible in the concordance and look up the word. And if I can't find a definition in the King James Bible, I go to Webster's 1828 dictionary. I know some Greek, but it don't do you, it does not do me no good. I will get more out of teaching a class using the Bible for a definite for a dictionary or using Webster's 1828 dictionary. Then I would say, ladies and gentlemen, class of, in the Greek, this word. And now I'm going to draw a conclusion on when you say in the Greek. And you're going to get me thinking. Are you trying to impress me? Are you, one of Nestles don't agree with other Nestles? Or are you following a Nazi? I hope these studies will be a blessing to you. I hope you will share them. I hope you will get them out. I hope you'll learn, take notes, and... May God the Father and Jesus Christ get the glory. Today's study, the children of Israel, the Jews, the Hebrews, don't get the praise and honor. They got killed. They got tortured. They got their rights taken away. And the book, the man that wrote the book is highly favored. Have I become your enemy because I've told you the truth? 